Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you whenever and wherever you are watching this from. Um, I trust you well and here's your bite-sized word, a very quick bite-sized word. Romans 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And why is this so important? That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And that word prove means to test something as genuine or not um, when it comes to the w the will of God for your life if you have an unrenewed mind you won't be able to see what Jesus sees <laughs> you won't be able to see your life as victorious as free you won't be able to see yourself healed and whole and restored so when it comes to healing this is a big thing if we have an unrenewed mind, it doesn't make us a bad person. It doesn't mean you're going to hell. It just means you won't be able to see the truth. Where everything in life, through an unrenewed mind, and a renewed mind is renewed according to the scriptures. We read the word until we get hold of what God says in his word about who he is, about who we are, about his purpose for our lives, about the promises being yes and amen. A renewed mind has diligently studied the word of God meditated on the word prayed the word back to God but an unrenewed mind means that we are still living with the old thought processes the old habits the old expectations and we know that those are not good enough in the kingdom of God and so with an unrenewed mind when it comes to healing there'll still be the question of why is God allowing this why is this not happening? When is this going to happen? And there's a thought that comes in, oh, well, maybe we should just stop asking because God hasn't answered the prayer. Um, there were some people in the Bible who had great faith. <laughs> the woman with the issue of blood, she didn't come to Jesus and say, please heal me. She just knew that if she touched the hem of his garment, she would be healed. There was this, I call it great faith. She had great faith. Jesus turned and said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Your daughter has healed you. Your, your daughter, your faith has healed you. Um, there were many cases in the Bible where people came to Jesus and not once did he turn someone away who came to him for healing. He never stopped and said, no, 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 I can't heal you today. Never. Um, in the book of Acts, it says Jesus, he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. He healed the man at the pool of Bethesda. Um, he healed the man who was let down on the stretcher through the roof. His friends opened up the roof and let him down. Um, people received their healing. But it, it, there's a thing about having a mind that is renewed according to the word of God. So that when we need anything, whether it's healing or deliverance or provision, whatever it might be, guidance. We're going to come to God with a renewed mind that's been transformed, renewed by the word of God. And we're going to come to him and we're going to ask in faith. A renewed mind is a mind that comes to God and asks in faith. And so my exhortation to you today is do not be conformed to this world. To be conformed means to be pressed into the shape of this world. Think about how you, what you expected before there were always what ifs. There were always, when is this going to happen? The, and it was always expecting the worst to happen. And then you came into the kingdom. And that way of thinking of a change to be transformed, to see what God sees, to say what God says, a renewed mind will be saying over your own life what God says about you in his word. An unrenewed mind will be expecting the worst to happen. So we are not to be pressed into the shape of the world. You know, the world is governed by emotions, feelings, anxiety, fear. It says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it's so important that we are transformed. Our minds are renewed by the word of God, which means to be transformed means everything changes. You become, you think differently, you speak differently, you expect differently. Um, and the reason that we need our minds transformed is so that we can prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. To prove that good, acceptable and will of God means you can see whether something is genuine or not. 
you can discern, you can, you've tested something and you know that it's genuine because it lines up with the word of God. So whatever it is you need today that you need God to do, get into the word of God. Get your mind renewed so that when you come to God, you pray in faith. When you come to God, there's no hesitation. There's no, will he, won't we? And then you'll see God come through for you. So be encouraged with that today. Go and study Romans 12 verse 2. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There is so much power in the word of God for you today. There are answers there waiting for you. Have a fantastic day today.